On the outside, the brain is the cerebral cortex, where matter is transformed into consciousness. Here, comprising more than two-thirds of the brain mass, is the realm both of intuition and of critical analysis. The cortex regulates our conscious lives. The landscape of the human cerebral cortex is deeply furrowed, and there's a good reason for it. These convolutions greatly increase the surface area available for information storage in a skull of limited size. Behind the forehead are the frontal lobes of the cerebral cortex. Down here in the frontal lobes may be the means of ensuring human survival if we have the wisdom to pay attention. Capping the brainstem is the so-called R complex, R for reptile. It's the seat of aggression, ritual, territoriality, and social hierarchies. Surrounding the R complex is the limbic system, or mammal brain. It's a major source of our moods and emotions. The world of thought is roughly divided into two hemispheres. Over there is the right hemisphere of the cerebral cortex. It's mainly responsible for pattern recognition, intuition, sensitivity, creative insights. And over here is the left hemisphere, presiding over rational, analytic, and critical thinking. There's a continuous dialogue going on between the two hemispheres of the brain, channeled through this immense bundle of nerve fibers, which is called the corpus callosum. It's a bridge between creativity and analysis. But the brain does much more than just recollect. It intercompares, it synthesizes, it analyzes. Even in sleep, the brain is pulsing and throbbing and flashing, dreaming, remembering, figuring things out. Our thoughts, our visions, our fantasies, emotions and ritual behavior patterns, they're part of our humanity. What distinguishes our species is thought. Inside the cerebral cortex is the microscopic structure of thought. The language of the brain is encoded in cells called neurons, tiny switching elements, every connection representing one bit of information. How many neurons do each of us have? Maybe a hundred billion, comparable to the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Neurons in your brain are, com are communicating with each other. And the electrical energy that, that happens when you do that creates these standing waves in your brain, you know, called brain waves. When you are in your average daily walking around state, you're in a beta brainwave pattern above 13 cycles per second. When you get into the extreme high levels of beta, you feel anxious and you really feel separate. You, you feel very much feelings of dis-ease, disharmony, separation, disconnected from yourself even, and certainly from other people. As the brain waves slow down, your mind becomes a lot more focused.
But if your brain waves slow a little bit more and they go down below 13, you get into an alpha brain wave pattern, which is 8 to 13 cycles per second.